when you get confident with this, you can stand up more at the top, okay? okay. But for now, I want you to really stay in. So pump up, then tuck into that pump out. Bending down and up, big tuck, big pump out. Hey, that was perfect. Yeah. What's up, up, Nick? Yeah. Okay, today we're gonna do backside slashes and frontside slashes, and we're gonna work on technique so that you can get more of a grind, focusing on your bending down, pumping up, hitting your slash, getting your grind, and really tucking in, pump out, so that you maintain your speed. That's a big struggle with a lot of people as they start to learn their slashes and keep their rhythm. So let's yeah. get started. All right. And we are gonna learn and practice in a four and a half foot mini ramp. So, the initial one is learning how to back slash, okay? And front slash. So back, back slash starts first, and you're gonna continue your rhythm of just pumping up, pumping up, pumping up, back and forth and then start to pump up into your kick turn and keep working your way higher and higher until you consistently get that heel wheel, back heel wheel over the coping, back foot heel wheel over the coping. Perfect. Really bending down and up. Good, Nick, really up. Bending down, snapping up. Good, that's right. Bigger, fuller turn. That's it, in onto those toes. Okay, I see a couple things that we can work on to help, help you benefit from this, okay? okay? One of those things is, what really helps me is the confidence of seeing my grind, right? So having that visual confidence, it's like, it's like being able to drive with your eyes open versus drive with your eyes closed. So if you go over that backslash and you can't see what you're doing, obviously it's a lot scarier and harder. So I want you to try to do some kick turns first under the coping and look down at your back wheels when you do your kick turn. Because as you ride up, you're gonna pump up. You're gonna pump up, let your body start to lean into your turn and you're actually gonna slow down and almost come to a stop for a second as you make your kick turn. So at that stopping point, you have time. You have time to look at your feet and make sure that your wheels on the coping and get a visual bit of confidence so that you can look and lean in over your toes as you pump in, right? So let's try that again. And we'll start with just under the coping first. And as you pump up, look down at your back wheels when you make your kick turn, pump in and then look forward again. That's right. Big pump up. Good. 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 Now, there's times when you need to look at your, it helps to look, and there's times where it feels really small and you have the confidence anyway, yeah. and you feel like you just don't have to look. So you're gonna have to decide on that, especially when it starts to get into the big bowl, right? Because you want that extra confidence to be like, to, to, you know, to see that you make your grind and make your slash, and then that your wheels start to come in as you make your turn. Um, moreover, on bigger transition, you have more time. Yeah. Since it takes longer to ride up the ramp and into your grind, you have more time to actually ride up and then look and then start pumping in before you get to the other side, e it. even though it's faster. So um, that's something that can help you and other people. And then the other thing is we're gonna work on front side and same with front side, you're gonna watch your grind, yeah. same thing. Do you already watch if you slash when you're front side? Yeah, because okay. you can see it easier. So then why don't you do it when you backside? It's harder to see. Yeah, see, so, but that's just one of those things. For me, and for so me. It's natural when you're doing front side because you're looking and you see, and then you're turning your shoulder to look where you're going. Yeah, that's right. So it's easier to. That's right, because your chest is forward and you yeah. just look down and it feels more comfortable, right? Backside, it's a little more challenging, especially if you feel like you have to kind of curl over to see your feet, right? So. But the curl over does help because that, that forces you to keep your head into the ramp, right? And even, even, if you do, even if you do miss, 
even if your wheels go over the coping, if you're curled over and you're looking down at your wheels, you're, you, all, you pretty much fall already right fall, fall right into an e-slide. Really bending down, snap up. That's right. Snapping up. Good. Bigger snap up. Come on, Nick. Reaching. That's right. That's it. There you go. There you go. And stay in on those toes. Into your tuck. Into your pump. Good. That's it. Good, Nick. Come on. Up, up, up. Hey, much better. Woo. Much better. Big up and across. That's it. And up. Very good. Very good. Exaggerate your pumping. Okay? Your goal for your pumping is to use your body weight to your advantage. And you want your body weight to fall with gravity into the ramp from as high as possible early to maximize your potential energy. Right when you hit your slash, the head should be into your pump. Good. Good. Now, drop in a little bit faster, pump up a little bit harder, and exaggerate your rainbow. Stretch, broaden that rainbow. Broaden that carve turn, okay? And I, and I always call this a rainbow because I want your entrance and your exit to be equal, okay? because that's the path the ball would take. Big tuck. Bending down and up. Good. Good. And I Much can tell, speed. yeah, and I can tell it gets a little sketchy up at the coping, right? You're yeah, starting, it was all right. You're starting to get light on your feet. Try to keep your weight on your board. Because yes, the higher you go and the faster you go, get if you, lower. yeah, you need to tuck into it more, yeah. Uh, when you get confident with this, you can stand up more at the top, okay? okay. But for now, I want you to really stay in. So pump up, then tuck into that pump out. Bending down and up, big tuck, big pump out. Hey, that was perfect. Yeah. That yeah, was good. That felt better. Yeah, that was good. Very good. So I'm just going to reiterate, the time to manipulate your skateboard is in your float time. And by float time, I mean... The lightest. Lightest time, exactly. So that would be... That would be the time when you're on the swing set and you, you hit maximum height and you float up off the seat just for that quick half a second and then land back on the seat and back down into the swing set, into the pump. Um, and, and it's the same on the skateboard. So anytime you're in that float time, the more you pump up is the more time you'll be in the air. You know, So more float time is allows you to go higher in the air and then allows you also more time to do tricks on the, on the, um, on the coping. Not the coping. That time, I don't know. Good. I thought I did. Good. So, I think I was getting a little more power in it. Or I was more efficient. I, uh, do me a favor. Film me for one second. Here, start on, stand on this side. And then just hold it like right there. Cool. So, uh, I'm just going to exaggerate that float time so that people get a visual of understanding of what I'm talking about. So look, as I'm pumping, I really exaggerate my pump up and tuck. Okay, so here's my float time. So notice I can float and land into my pump. See? Nice. So it's the same as this. Pump up, kick turn in. Pump up, kick turn in. Pump up, float in. Pump up, float in. Pump up, kick turn in. Right? So you can see it's the same time for when I kick turn or if I jump. Good. Good, that's right. Good. Come on, push it. Up, up, up. Even more. Bigger tuck, bigger pump. Good, good, snapping up. Keeping that head in. Good. And then the more help for you is gonna be keeping that head in so that you really tuck into your pump out. 
because when when I mean tuck, I mean maximize the compression of that spring so it has the most potential energy possible when you let go of the spring. Got your it. body's the same thing. The more you tuck down, is the more you bend down, is the more you can jump up, for the most part, right? If you only bend, if you only bend down two inches, it's hard to jump as high as you can, right? So you really have to bend down and even swing into it to get maximum hop. And that's the same for pumping up a ramp. That's why I exaggerate and use my arms as well anytime I pump up because they weigh, they have weight to them and then, and it creates momentum when I swing them. So, hey. All right, I'll work on that one. Woo. Thanks, dude. Thank you. Good job. When you get confident with this, you can stand up more at the top, okay? But for now, I want you to really stay in. So pump up, then tuck into that pump out. Bending down and up, big tuck, big pump out. Hey, that was perfect. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, that was good. Very good. I don't know if I slashed it, but I got wheel on it. Yeah, you did. You slashed it. I did. Yeah, totally.